In that case, in. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Boat Club. Down here at the Boat Club docks, we're getting raid set sail for something a little bit different. Because you may have noticed that once again, we are, in fact, it's just me and it's just me and Johnny Yachtsville. Hi, John. How are you doing? Hey, hey, I'm feeling, hey, Joe, I'm feeling, you know, I'm happy that we're still doing these. I'm just, I'm a little blue because Tom doesn't seem to like us anymore. Do you get that impression? I, I kind of get that feeling. Do, do you know how I, I feel right now, John? How do you feel? I feel like a real, real Digimon on the cross. What can I say? Wow. Is that uh, Dugamon? Yep, Gabumon. That's what that, you said, yeah. That's what I said, Gabumon. Yep, that's how you feel. That's how I feel. That's how we all feel. I feel like but, a regular hey, Gabumon. You know what? Tom has been talking for a while. Um, we have as well, but Tom, Tommy Togboat, third member of Boat Club, has been talking about how he thinks that, you know what, we're good enough that we don't have to do the lowest form of comedy, which is improv. Mm -hmm. And we could do the highest form of comedy, which is three white guys doing sketch. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows, the highest form. Absolutely. So what we were thinking today was, instead of giving you half an hour-ish of improvised comedy, what we're going to do is we're going to give you one scene. One scene, three times. And at the end of it, we're then going to go away. Over the week, we're going to write up that sketch that we've done based on those three performances. And next week, you're going to get to see what a real polished, good sketch from your boys, Joe and John, looks like. Isn't that right, John? That's absolutely right. You're basically going to be watching the inner workings of our comedic minds and how we structure the highest form of comedy yeah and you know we might even put in a little part for tom <laughs> yeah as as someone we can't hear <laughs> yeah as as, as as the poo you step in yeah, oh, oh what's <gasps> that a bit of dust on my windowsill <laughs> that oh. part could go to tom what's that a crack in my windscreen oh well I'm going to call up the, the window man to come and fix that. And Tom's going to play the crack. We, it, it's like I thought I was going to say he was going to play the repair man. No, uh, the crack. It's, it's like we assume he's going to be watching this and uh, hearing our insults. But we both know, Joe, that we are just doing this for ourselves. Like every what's book club episode. What, what's, what's, what's that? <laughs> a, a dead fish? Well, Tom's going to play the harpoon. Oh, dear. So the way we're going to start this is, like any other situation, we're going to take a one-word suggestion, but from that we will just build one scene. We will do that scene till we're both happy that it's done, or till one of us just says, and that's the scene. And from there, we're going to have a little chat, see what we think went right, what went wrong. Then we're going to do it again, have a little chat, what went right, what went wrong. Have a little chat. and. We're not going to tell you what we thought of it the third time around because you'll have to wait till next week to find out, John. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to have a little chat, make a little love, and get down tonight. Yeah. But also, we do need to get this done quickly because uh, it's nearly your bedtime. So uh, I need to go sleep, sleep. Yeah. With that in mind, John, can I get a one word suggestion? You can, Joe. And the word is hostile. Hostile. All right. Well, the way this is going to go is, as always, we're going to count down together. Three, two, one, and together say the word boat club. From there, the scene will keep going until one or possibly both of us say, and that's the scene. So, John, are you ready I am, to enter Joe. hostile territory? Oh, I like what you did there. In three, three two, two, one, one. Boat, boat club. club. We open. Uh, we open on a um, on a farm, on a farm 
uh, and there's there's a there's a picket fence, and we see two farmers angrily shaking their fists at each other. Hey, Ransom. Uh, Ransom. What do you call this? I call it my pig. And what's your pig doing in my field? You leave him alone, Stafford. I'm putting him back in your field. No. Do you not want him? It's he's yours now. Thank you. That's very nice. Oh, 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 you don't know the burden of having that particular pig in your farm. He's yours Sounds now. like you've got a tale to tell, Ranson. Oh, I've got a tale to tell. Oh, see that little pig there? He ain't good. <laughs> Are we going to expand on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, um, I feel I should give you something bad in return. Um, no, no, no. Here, here's some corn that's gone off. No, no. I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I'll, I'll accept the corn. It's at least not as bad as that little fucker. Uh, we we cut to uh, we cut to the farmer uh, at his home uh, with his partner uh, later that night. And so then he just said, "That pig's a fucking dick." Is that what he said? He Is that said what he those said? exact words. He said, "That pig's a fucking dick, and he can get in the fucking bin for all I care." Okay. Okay. I, the the weird thing is, you can see him. He's just he's just sat in the corner, shuffling his cards. Wait, is this the pig or the or ransom? <laughs> oh, um, the pig. <laughs> oh, right, okay. He's shuffling his what? Shuffling his cards. His cords. Cards. Oh, his, his deck cards. Of cards. Oh, his. He's shuffling his cards. Yep. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, honey, this pig seems like, well, he's been in the corner shuffling cards with his trotters and he's just been staring at us. You think he wants us to join in? You think he's trying to deal us into the game? Well, well, here's the thing, honey. I, well, well yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they go towards the pig who's shuffling cards on her in the corner. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I think he wants us to take a card. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, he wants us to take one of the card, one of the nine that he's put here. Um, Won't you choose one, honey? Okay. Uh, uh, this one. Okay. Do I do I look at it or what? Okay. I put the put the card back. Okay. I, I'm gonna look at it. Um, Okay, and I'll put it back in the pile, yeah? And I'll put it back put it put it back in the pile. <laughs> uh, okay okay. Is that your card, honey? It is. Oh oh no. Honey, it's he's a swingler pig. He wants us to give him, he wants us to give his give a, give him his give him his money. Uh, well, you, you might want to pay him. I hear this pig's a real nasty shitbag. <laughs> Honey, I don't think that's what the other farmer said. <laughs> he said he's a right bag of cunts. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, okay, I'll pay. <laughs> Honey, that's all the money I have. I've I've given this pig a lot of money so far. He keeps swingling me. Oh, the pig's not happy. <laughs> the pig is not happy. Oh, the pig wants to fight. Oh, no. Well, you know I've got my dodgy if I can't fight him. Honey, we, we don't have enough money. We, 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 we... Okay, 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 Mr. Pig. I will sell you um, the chicken coop. How about that? And I'll get, I'll, I'll get, <laughs> I, I'm not betting anything. <laughs> He's just, I'm just giving him money. I'm giving him money to show me a contract. <laughs> How did he have that contract drawn up already? Oh no. I, I think he's been planning this. 
He's been planning this from the beginning. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do, honey. What? We cut to the next day, and uh, you just see uh, the one farmer's working out in his field when Farmer Ronson comes up to him. I got a word to pick with you. You oh. told me this pig was bad. You didn't tell me how bad. Oh, oh, the pig's bad. The pig's real bad. How long did it take for you to uh, to sell him the whole farm? He owns the farm now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And your farm. I know. I know. He owned my farm. He actually convinced me to throw him over the other side to you. I'm Wait. owed. I'm owned by the pig as well. Wait. How did he get into how did he get into Farmer Bronson's farm? Why is he wearing fa- Farmer Bronson's clothes? How quickly did he make a deal? Oh no. He owns he owns the Hovis factory just down the street. Oh shit. He's making bread. <laughs> Wait. What's he baking into the bread? Oh, it's my wife. <laughs> That's the scene. So let's first talk about what went right. Uh, John. Yes. Uh, well, we, we established where we were and yeah. what was going on. And we established a, a clear a clear issue that we both had. Um, uh, the, the, the having the pig having a reason why the pig is uh is bad was was fun i think um uh yeah i think i think the scene built well the scene built well like the, there was there was definitely comedic possibilities of it heightening so it got from yeah. worse to worse to worse it heightened appropriately uh the game of this pig capitalizing on uh, human capitalism. <laughs> and I think it was good that we never went into a talking pig. I think it was good to keep it grounded on that one level. That's true. That's true. Even That's... when the rest of the team was getting ridiculous, we still kept it within the bounds that this is not a talking pig. That's true. That's true. That's pretty funny. But there there were still some questions to be had. But I, I thought we had a nice level of fun. Mm. Nice level of fun. So we've got we've got the good bits. We've got a nice level of fun. There was some good comedic build. Yeah. It yeah. started grounded and went to more ridiculous places. Yeah. But it at least established a real world before it went to them. There was yeah. an element of normality. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, let's get into the bad bit, John. Well, I would say they're not bad. They're just things that we could possibly improve upon. The things we could work on. Yes. Well, I think we could be even more grounded. I think we started off a little a little silly, a little big, but maybe if we started a bit more grounded, like these actual farmers genuinely uh, genuinely having a conversation together before revealing the fact that the pig was taking over would, would be nice, I think. Yeah. Be a bit more grounded. Um maybe uh i was going to suggest that maybe it would have been better if uh, the unusual person or the 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 person that the game was set upon would should talk but i also like the idea that the pig didn't speak so i'm a bit half on half on that Mm. note to be honest i kind of liked it um Let's see. What other things? <clears throat> Maybe instead of jumping back and forth, we should just keep it all in one scene. Well, instead of it cutting to the night afterwards and then the day afterwards. Yeah. So, 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 like the pig goes over and he's like, "There's nothing wrong with the pig," and then the the other farmer goes back and then the pig starts shuffling decks, shuffling yeah. cards, and then and then the the part the white the farmer's okay. Part so, comes out so at what? The same time. What if the um. The one farmer, instead of them giving the pig to them and just putting it in there because it's bad, instead 
this one farmer is trying to pass off this pig as being totally normal and this being him trying to apologize for some previous grievance when really it's him in actually enacting his revenge by putting this cursed pig onto him well 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 yeah okay i like that idea i'm i'm just thinking like what was the original jump off point in the first sketch and it was it was us describing the pig as bad like this is yeah. a bad pig so yeah. that comedically that implies that the pig there's something wrong with it like it's it's probably not yeah. healthy but what? in this sense it implies that this pig has uh, uh, evil means as to corrupt the yeah. humans which would I it like. be would it be interesting to see it just as an experiment do a version of it where instead the person keeps talking about this pig being bad whereas it is in fact a totally normal pig where this person just has this vendetta against this pig, despite there being nothing non-standard pig about it. But that would, yeah, uh, but that would be an entirely different sketch then. It wouldn't yeah. be about the pig, it would be about this guy and why he wants to, why he's having such a go at this pig. <laughs> so we we could, but it would be a different sketch entirely. Yeah, if that's you want, a fair if, point. If you want to keep the the same sketch idea of if, if the game is pig is bad in terms of more uh, human motives as opposed to a bad a, a bad tasting pig for instance then we yeah. could we could keep that I like the idea of the I like the idea of the farmer saying this pig is bad and then jumping off there and seeing what other possibilities there could be for this pig like what what other things make him bad we could have a play around with that okay so i think yeah your idea is more if we try it but exploring less why the farmer is trying to pass off this bad pig and more what makes a bad pig yeah exactly but still keeping still like not having the pig talk which i think is much funnier so so you you had the great idea so the moment the moment bad pig was said you jumped on the idea that this pig is like scheming and like using the cards like that's great that's like a very human uh attribute to someone who's considered bad all we got to do is do the same thing add more bad at human attributes to this pig like okay. not not only is he dealing with cards but what other things could he be doing in the same scene all right, go with me. I think possibly what we need to do is try it out, but keeping the kind of idea of where we started. Okay. But get away from the farm potentially actually sooner. Yeah. Of okay. seeing where this pig goes from there. Maybe this pig builds up enough local business that it becomes mayor. Let's, seeing, let's try it. Seeing the meteoric rise of this bad pig. Yeah, and see like what other human attributes yeah. make him better. I and and also starting it grounded. So instead of us like having a go at each other, the two farmers, like just having a conversation at the beginning, making things very grounded until the reveal of the pig. Okay. Um, in that case, we from there, we return to the farms, and two farmers in um fields connected only by a fence. Are both working. Mm. All right. Hey, old Barry, you okay? Yep, yeah, I'm all right, thanks. How are you doing, Mark? Not too bad, Barry. Not too bad. It's uh, early morning. Early morning, uh, isn't it? But you know, ground still wet enough to hoe and dry enough to pat. You know what I mean? Oh, classic phrase. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, listen, Barry. Uh, I've got yep. a little. Uh, I got a little. I got a little something for you. Yeah? Oh yeah. Well, hang on. Let me just let me perch up in the fence here. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting rid of some of me. Uh, some of me pigs. Getting rid of your pigs, but your pigs are prize winners. Oh, well, that's the thing. They are prize winners, but I've got a. I, I've got this one here. This is just round the back there. I've got this pig here. Um. I'm more than happy to sell it to you um, and give it to you mm. if you want it. Wait, did you say give it to me? Yeah, I'm I just I just give it to you for free. All right, what's the catch? You know that 
I, I've got it written. I've got my wife needle pointed this for me in a sign that hangs above my door. <coughs> There's no such thing as a free pig. All right, you you know me well enough to you know me well enough to know what I'm up to. But I'm, I'm I just need to get rid of this pig. He's a bad pig. He's bad for me. Okay, he's bad for me. So if you want him, you can have him. Look at him. He looks fine, doesn't he? Yeah, it looks like a nice normal pig. Yeah, but he's, he's good a bit trotters. Bad. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But you're saying he's bad. He's a bit bad, yeah, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> exactly <As> in... <laughs> like Michael Jackson. <laughs> wait, wait, let me rephrase that. Like Michael Jackson's hit song, "Bad." <laughs> <laughs> no, I was no, going no. to say that's a level of bad. I don't think I'm prepared for. <laughs> no, no. Let me rephrase that. That was my fault. Uh, not not bad as in Michael Jackson, the human being, but bad as in the song that he had. Yeah. He's he's not bad like Michael Jackson. He's bad like the song in that he's not the world's greatest like the R. Kelly song or R. Kelly. OK, well, no, no, no. As in uh, as in bad as in the song, but the song yeah. is not bad. The but song not, is called bad. Yeah, but the song is also good. Yes. Yeah. So in so technically you should have this big. But I'm just wondering, how bad is this pig if you're just trying to get rid of it? Listen, uh, just just take him with you for a little while. Uh, I'm just going to head back, uh, get some supplies from the tool shed. You just keep the pig, just see how you do with it, see what, what you can muster from him, mm. see how you feel with it. Because the pigs are all about how you feel with him. So uh, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be back and check with you in a day or two. Well, apparently I don't have a choice. Somehow he's already in my sty. Oh yeah, he'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ju- he's jumped over. Uh, oh, he's making himself a home there. Okay. <laughs> he's already establishing himself as the biggest pig in the yard. <laughs> yeah, he's already beaten the biggest he's pig. He's beaten the, the shit out of my biggest pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are prison rules. That oh yeah, I better I better go. I better go. Uh, honey. Y- yep. And I just wanted to check up on you. Who? What's the? What's the new pig? Oh, um, farmer uh, Mark next door. He um, he said that pig was a a a right bag of dicks. Okay. Okay. Well, he, well, what's wrong with him? Does he smell bad or something? Well, not. Well, I don't know. He's just bad. He's just, <laughs> oh, like Michael Jackson. No, as not like song, Michael Jackson. Oh, right, like the song "Bad," yeah. Like the song, yeah. Oh, okay. But not um, as, in, that as in he's good. As in he's good. He's a good pig. No, no. As in he like the not bad in the way of Michael Jackson or in the way that the song itself is good, but in the way of the uh, central character of the Michael Jackson song, he's bad. Okay. Well, um, it, sorry. Just when you were talking there, the pig just pig just uh, started humping the other pig and i know that those two other pigs are in a relationship right now so he's just like wait a minute but the but the other pig who was part of that relationship just come in the bad pig's got a knife <laughs> oh no how can he even hold that with his trotter oh god okay well this okay this pig is like michael jackson <laughs> <laughs> he's he's getting into it. He's, oh. he's wait, he's gone. But can you hear that? He's taking the car. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's driving away. He's driving we, away. He's driving away with our motor home. We we cut to um this pig, just uh on the road with it. <laughs> Suddenly, he um, gets pulled <laughs> over by a cop. A fucking pig driving a car. <laughs> oh, oh, oh he, he stuck his trotter right through me up. Uh... Oh. Suddenly we see this pig just um, grab this officer by the scruff and drag him off to the side of the road and bury his body. 
uh, we then we then cut to the pig uh, going into a hotel uh, and uh, coming out of the balcony of the hotel, and we see a bunch of onlookers looking up, <laughs> taking photographs, and then the pig has takes a a, pig, a piglet out in a blanket, and then. Uh, carries it outside of the balcony and then nearly drops it uh, but then ca- grabs the piglet back and, and runs <laughs> inside the hotel room <laughs> suddenly we uh, we see down amongst the people taking photos it's that the original farmer and his wife <laughs> guess he was Michael Jackson bad <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I think we found a new game where <laughs> the pig is bad like Michael Jackson <laughs> <laughs> so let's work out what other things this pig could be like a Michael Jackson song. Could this be the man in the mirror? Uh, I just want, I'm just thinking like I just wanted to do an entire um tag run of different bad Michael Jackson decisions but done as a pig. <laughs> like him opening up his own Neverland ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the pig gets its own pet monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I'm>, uh... <laughs> oh no. He's just wearing like white gloves and a sparkly uh, tuxedo. <laughs> okay, so there's there's a different game. I'll be yeah. honest, I was just trying to think of Michael Jackson pig puns and I've got nothing so far. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well uh, so let's break it down again. Grandio. Yeah. Um, what do you think that run of it built on well that the first scene didn't? Okay, well, I think, um, well, we, we built upon, I think it, it, um, I, I really did like the whole Michael Jackson thing. That was just a very fun bit of spontane spontaneity. Yeah, um, I think it was like slightly different. To be honest, I have more more things to improve upon than I have actual positive stuff. To be honest, yeah. Uh, but we start with the positives. We start with the positives. I like the. Uh, let me think. Um, I mean, it was more grounded. I guess it didn't start off very silly. That was nice. Um, I like how. Uh, the pig beating up another pig like just going straight into the other farm was pretty fun we didn't have to like make a big faff about it we just it just happened which was nice um <laughs> i just love the idea of the pig in a car that's just just driving you don't how did it learn how to drive yeah stuff like that that's pretty fun and just to come trying to make a pig into michael jackson was just very funny to me yeah I I agree with all those. I think in terms of things to work on, um, I liked us more going for the normalcy, but I feel like potentially we may have gone too far the other way and it took a while for the scene to really kind of get going. I agree with that. I think, um, yeah. I I think think there can be an element of working too hard to make it seem grounded at first. And what you actually do is just kind of leave a lot of uh, kind of, Essentially, flab that you could cut from the beginning there. Well, you, you know what? my the, the thing I found hard was trying to justify why this farmer was giving you a pig. Like, that yeah. was really difficult. Because, like, I couldn't ground... It just didn't seem... It didn't seem normal. It felt like I was forcing myself. I was like, I have to give this pig. But yeah. it didn't seem real. It seems just, like, forcing it. And I, I just didn't... It wasn't... Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so let's drill down into that, because I feel like that's an integral part of this, is at the beginning, do we want the pig to already be in the main, to have already crossed over into the other farm? Because is it better if the pig starts there, as it did in the first scene, and we just go from this farm just being like, well, it's your pig now? Yes, I think uh, that's a really good point. So instead of the farmer and the because f- the funny the fun part is the pig is the pug yeah. pig doing all these bad things, but it took so long. Yeah, how about we instead we start this time with you complaining that the pig is bad, 
and then and then me as the other farmer being like, no, it's you know, it's you bought it. You can't do anything about it now. I can't take it back. And then that pushes yeah. into like you saying like why it's bad. Yeah. And then and then we don't and then we don't need the um we don't really need the other character. We just we can just have the two farmers talking about it. Um. Also, another thought that I had was w- there's a lot of saying things and not enough just r- doing it or seeing it. So. You know, instead of being like, th- th- see, this is why I think having having an unusual person being human or talking is so important because then they can justify why they're being so weird and then they can say pretty fun things. We're pretty much just saying what this pig is doing, which yeah. could be which could be fun. But I think you're right; it needs to be elevated a bit quicker. So we need to see the pig go straight from beating people up to going straight into this, going straight into that, or um or attacking other people we need that we need to see that yeah all right well taking those notes in mind and working on getting to the meat of the action which uh let's just hope it's a bit of pork if you know what i mean <laughs> oh i i also should stay right now for uh, the safe listeners at home don't eat pigs just don't eat meat um this brought to you by uh joe's reminding you again he doesn't eat meat but <laughs> We go back to these two farms. Mm-hmm. Right, Mark? Yeah. I gotta have a word with you. Uh, okay. I, I got up this morning, came out, hoed me corn, fed me chickens, went over to feed me pigs, me three pigs. There's a fourth pig in the pen. You wouldn't have knew anything about that, would you? Uh, yeah. You got anything else to say on the matter? Well, well, well I'm sorry, but the the pig, it's uh, well, he he was mine. And you want him back? Oh no, 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 no! That pig, that pig, does what it wants. That pig is bad to the bone. Wait, you're sorry. You're telling me you don't want the pig back? I don't want that pig back. No, no, that pig is that pig is a menace. Uh, that pig is on its own, uh, and if it if it's chosen to live in your in your farm, that's that's your responsibility now, not mine. Right. So I got some things. I'm wondering if you could help me resolve this as well. Yeah. Um. So I found that um there was a fox tried to get into my chicken coop. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone had beaten the that fox to death. That was the pig. Right. Um, that, that was the pig. Um, okay. Um, someone stole my prize marrow. No, that wasn't and... someone. That wasn't someone. That was that was that was the pig. Right. And somebody on the front of my farm, on my farm sign. You know, I love my farm sign. Mm-hmm. Otto's farm, fresh yeah. produce. It now says fresh produce. And fuck the police in what appears to be a mixture of fox blood and marrow juice. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Well, it's pretty obvious to me that that's the pig right there. That's the pig. Ironically, that's the pig. The pig hates the police. Ironically. It is. It is. It's going through a phase. It's going through a phase. You just got to let. You know, this is what I'm doing. I'm letting the pig. I'm letting him just uh, let out all his anger. He's at that stage in his life now. Okay, but um, now he he seems to be climbing up the windmill and um, letting something go into the breeze. Is that some kind of anthrax into the breeze? Does that even work? Yeah, the uh, <laughs> young pigs, am I right? Ugh, they're so cute when they're piglets, but they're okay, but they I don't think that's anthrax more... into the air. <laughs> Oh look, he's graffitiing. He's gra- he's graffitiing. Fuck you, daddy, on the uh, on the windmill okay. there. Okay, but he my brother is a policeman, and I love my dad. I'm sh- oh, 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 don't let that pig know. <laughs> he will. <laughs> he will. I get on really well with my dad. I go for a drink from him every week. Is that your dad there telling him to get off the windmill? Yeah, that is my dad. Wait, he's jumping on my dad. Oh no, that's a suplex. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't even know a pig could do that sort of maneuver. 
he's watching a lot of WWE these days. You know, I you know, I say I say he just I just just let him. I just no, let him. No, Dad, tap. Tap, Dad. <laughs> then he has to release the hold. <laughs> oh no, he's he's doing a bra and panties match with your dad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My dad's already down to his knackers and the pig's not stopping. Listen, have you ever you ever had kids? Yeah. And by kids I mean adult pigs. No, no human children. Oh uh, well they're very similar in a way. You know how with uh you know with when you get to about a 14, 15, 16, you just you know, they just start hating the world. <clears throat> Yeah, but my kids would just do, you know, standard kid things like telling me they want to move to the big city or um, fighting with with knives. What, but what? you know, this pig's bad. Yeah, well, this pig is be what this pig was has watched a lot of television, and we uh, we we did we did we did uh, we did keep him in the house, so he is he is. Uh, I'm not going to lie, put my hands up, bad parenting, you know, you could say, but, uh, you know, I tell you what, I think things changed the moment he watched Babe in the City. The moment he watched Babe, Pig in the City, he was just like, I want to, I want to go, I want to go there. I want to go there. Yeah, but he appears to have marked down on that map he's holding up a series of locations marked with X's and timers. Yeah. What's he planning? He's going through his terrorist stage. <laughs> <laughs> you make that sound like that's a thing all pigs go through. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you, you know, it's. Uh, I assume that's what kids go through. I never really had children. I guess that's why I domesticated this pig. But you made the pig this way. Oh well, I didn't mean to, but um. You know, that's what How happens. How many when... pigs have you produced like this? <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. Look who's coming in for the tag team. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's a it's a triple threat. <laughs> oh shit! They've, and they've all got chairs. <laughs> Just tap, Dad. Tap. <laughs> El Cerdito, the one with the Mexican luchador mask. He's my favorite. <laughs> He's always so, been daddy's favourite. Suddenly <laughs> yeah. we see this pig climbs up to the uh, top of the windmill and uh, does a spectacular backflip onto the dad. Ah, <laughs> kids. <laughs> and that's the scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think, I think that one was uh, a lot stronger in terms of like what was... You know, it wasn't just it wasn't just the pig is bad. It's just like he's acting like a, ch- a teenage boy, a teenage yeah, like this, child. This pig is acting out. Yeah. But its form of acting out is inspired by a mixture of television shows it's watched. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Because it's it's also I like that that kind of plays into this notion that it's never exactly said, but that the pig doesn't fully understand human culture beyond what it's seen from the TV. So it assumes that all people act like just, you know, kind of WWE wrestlers or Jack Bauer or something. I, I like the idea that this pig is just going through a teenage phase, so they're just acting out. But I, you know, I think I think we could, it, it could be a, well, well, we'll go for the positive and then we'll go stuff to work on first. But yeah, no, I, I like the teenage phase stuff. Um, I like that the two. I, I like the the speed in which like all the fun things were heightening. Like it was, it, it, we weren't bogged down by it. Um, <clears throat> the beginning was also much quicker and much. It was yeah. like it felt grounded and it was like fine. It's just like it, it. It felt like we started going the moment we, yeah. the moment we got to it. I also liked the idea of kind of essentially keeping it to, like that the pig is doing weird things, but that essentially, it was also one relatively normal farmer one majority kind of like comedic farmer yeah yeah that's what i mean that i think that's why that's why it felt a bit more fun and a bit better to do because the the weird farmer was able to justify everything yeah um which was cool um 
Yeah. I think maybe things to work on is definitely having the pig be more like a a teenager to begin with, not just throwing themselves at the wrestling thing at the very start. I think I think it should grow naturally, like Yeah, like it starts with this um pig like just moody, like a moody pig, like he's just depressed, like he's just like really unhappy. That you know, start yeah. very, very very small and then work ourselves up to wrestling you know like i, I feel like we jump yeah, very very I, quick i think yeah kind of if it starts like the the first thing being this kind of um this uh pig yeah stealing stuff from around the farm then yeah. we progress to like graffiti then it's yeah. smoking yeah exactly and then we've got we get into like the pig starts wrestling the farmer's dad. I think, um, I, yeah, I think also... I think, yeah, if it's, like, different stages of acting out. Exactly. Just You're just sort of, you're just mirroring or mapping a, a teenage child going through the motions as, as this pig. Yeah. Um, Do I'll, we want there to be a moment, like, near the end of it where instead do we want the ending of it to be just kind of like this person reacting to this or do we want it to be almost like this pig finding itself in its 20s reconciling and understanding almost the farmer's position as if it's like i get that you cared for me dad well that that would imply that we we want the pig to speak and i'd i'd, I'd yeah. rather keep or, the pig not speaking but or maybe if it just like i don't know brought him kind of uh i don't know just at the end of it, it's like what's that some more corn to replace the corn you stole? <laughs> having having the farmer eat bacon uh, and saying nobody wants to eat their own child is a pretty fun ending. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I, I think I, I think like a a, re- a relatively nice ending would just be to heighten to to the highest degree. Like go from go for the motions like smoking and being depressed and acting out to then getting to very weird territories like stealing a cop car, um, becoming mayor, yeah. something ridiculously I, big, I think, and then ending think, on the yeah. bigger one. It's the way I see it in my head is this is our version of Have you seen the Pixar short Bow? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this pig is our bow bun. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Which I know before you say it, people at home, I know that bow means bun. I'm sorry. Hey, no but... one will care. Because <clears throat> they get us. They understand us. Yeah. And if you want to get and understand what the finished version of this scene is, Uh-oh. well, I guess you're only going to have to bloody watch next week, aren't you? Uh-oh. And Tom will be there to watch us perform the sketch, and yep. he won't say a thing. And I'll give Tom one line at the end, and it'll be like, what What was that pig? Oink, oink. <laughs> yeah, he can play the pig. <laughs> he can play the pig, and the pig's one line of dialogue. He, he can be the guy who says, and that's the, that's the sketch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can have one stage direction, and it's end. I want... I want Tom to play uh, the pig version of Blanket, Michael Jackson's son, from when he was on the balcony. Tom can play the dad who turns up <gasps> just like, oh, hey, son, and then gets beaten up by a pig. His name's Pig and Blanket. There's the pun. There's the pun we needed. Uh, There's the pun we needed. We got it. And got with it that, time. if you've enjoyed this, Boat Club Improv, wherever you get your podcasts, I'm at not Joe Ronchka, that's N-O-T-J-O-E-R-A-C-Z-K-A. And if you want some jokes that are never swine-worthy, Ooh. you can find them at where, John? Uh, at uh, One Board Man, that's O-N-E-B-O-A-R-D-M-A-N, for some hot fire tweets. And hey, John. Yeah. You know what we uh, like to do to end every episode? What's that, Joe? Um, to say our favourite catchphrase. That won't do, bad pig. That Ooh. won't do. Bye. Bye.